On September 3rd, 2014, DSM and its joint venture partner Poet celebrate the grand opening of one of the world's first cellulosic ethanol production facilities, called Project Liberty. Anton Robeck, president DSM Biobased Products and Services, tells us how it all began. It started uh, seven years ago uh, within the Innovation Center with the development of enzymes and yeast technology uh, that allows us now to convert crop residues into cellulosic ethanol. Behind me you see a cornfield. I believe this is grown for animal feed. And then the farmers take the corn for the feed application and the uh, leaves and stalks remain on the field. And this is what we use then to uh, take out the sugars and produce ethanol. Every day we are processing 700 to 800 tons of corn residue and that means basically uh, every minute a bale of uh, one ton of uh, biomass. So huge quantities. The goal is to start with 20 million gallons of ethanol and then improve the output to 25 million gallons or higher. So uh, with uh, the output of Project Liberty, we can uh, produce approximately uh, 1 billion liters of gasoline containing 10% of ethanol. Project Liberty is special because it's one of the first plants globally that uh, converts biomass into uh, ethanol, basically energy. We are helping the world to become less dependent on non-renewable uh, fossil uh, fuel uh, sources like oil and gas or coal. And uh, that is really a breakthrough uh, for uh, not only uh, DSM and POET, but also for society. When I was at university in the 70s, climate change came for the first time on the global agenda. And I'm very proud now that my team uh, and myself are contributing to bringing a solution to the market for climate change. Next to that, I have a grandkid, Livy. And uh, in 2050, she will be 37 years old. And I hope that this will contribute to affordable lives also for that generation. And that makes me also especially proud of what we are doing. Great. <laughs>